Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Royal Rumble campaign where I'm trying to beat the game on the ultra 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 hardest difficulty imaginable. It is the final lap in the true uh, meaning of the word and we are going to the potentially third last mission which is called Diamond Giant where we are fighting against a typical 25 uh, man uh, endgame unit plus a couple of psionic forces. So nothing out of the ordinary here. Um, I want to test a few new items. Uh, one is that satellite, uh, satellite strike. Uh, the other one is Haywire is carrying a new rifle that we've gotten uh, lately and I simply wanted to see if that rifle is any good besides or giving her a deployable turret. Um, anything else we need to know about? I think we're okay. I mean, since we're fighting so many psi enemies, I'll just use uh, mm, I'll just use this here on Inquisitor. It will be our front line. And yeah, we got uh, Roro again because I just enjoyed the psi operative way too much. And Psy Operative with a um, snake skin is even more fun because that means he's also fast. Let's jump into it and give it a go. Okay, let's land and see what we can do. Constructed a psionic transmitter in this area, tied directly into their primary network. Adam O'Connor, a random dude, is joining us. Well, welcome to the show, my my friend. Six turns, right? We better hurry if it is only six turns. Calls in an orbital strike. Okay. That sounds... Quite scary. As you command. Okay, roll, roll. Moving out. Moves up. First things first, the most important question, can we shoot with one action? Heading out. The answer is no, and in that case it is definitely not as good as our other sniper rifle. It's not bad either though. But I'm halfway relieved that we're not seeing yet another item which like completely outshines the chosen weapons. Rolling out. Location confirmed. Yeah, for motor for motors it is difficult to find that like sweet spot between a reasonably strong weapon but not making it completely OP. Some do a better job of it than others. So say if I was to hit this guy, yeah, that he would simply stay there. We're going to see if that uh, works out. I mean, it also has Banish. So technically I could open with it. Not thinking that there will be a lot a lot more targets that will require Banish. You can't handle me. Lead Perch Trooper. Good Thumper moves up. 
Might pull another pack, but that's okay. Let's get that Biomech Trooper. Down to almost nothing. I would like to give Thumper a little bit more combat presence. Immediately killing this guy. Happy now. Well, I am pretty happy now, yes. Thank you for asking. Whatever you say. Manipulating well done. that I thing. The and moving up that. Roger that. Adam. Moves up, overwatches. We're getting more time. All right, Roro. Almost got that drone. Uh, unfortunately, I did not have it on the radar that there was another drone. Ross does have threat assessment, and Thumper is better at shooting, so might as well do threat assessment here. Inquisitor will move in next turn. Big fat tactical analysis. I wonder why Thumper hasn't taken a shot, because he should have. Oh, I like that idea. I could be more action efficient uh, with stasis, but I don't need to. Any other move that I would do brings us into a suboptimal position. Good 
Good. Pulling the other melees out of there. Nope. That didn't work. Whiplash against the drone. That on the other side worked very, very well. Good, we're spanning up a kill zone. Hayward gets rid of this guy. Nice. Has a biomech back there. Let's try that frostbite shot. Ah, uh, that's not bad either. I actually really like what I'm seeing. Removing the shield. Okay, Thumper here. Reloads. Just out of curiosity. Yeah, we could. We could take these guys out, right? Okay, Russ would really like nothing more than a big fat high ground to clean up all of this mess. There is no fear. Okay. There we go, finally kill zone starts to trigger. Got a sector post prime. Come on, focus. Oh, yeah, and I was worried that. Maybe our uh, kill zone wouldn't be as impactful. Adam got struck quite hard. Okay, listen, this is an absolute bloodbath that is happening here. into full cover it's quite clear to me who the main target supposed to be Deflection. 
chain that removed mind control. Uh, oh boy, that was bad. Well, we're going to try it nonetheless once more. Sector port is almost down. Give him a heal. Ross heals himself. Okay, we are up to eight hit points, so it's not too bad. Good to go. Hey, Ward. Throws a turret in. Kills the sector port. You have the power. All right, we need to deal with the bio assault trooper here. Or alternatively, just take both of these mutants out, which I think is a better choice. Crowd control now. I know a lot of uh, the enemies have positioned there. Fanfire technically could deal a lot of damage. Not sure how much it really deals. But might as well try. Could be better, could be worse. You will regret your resistance. There's heavy fire in this zone. Whoa. Roro needs to be healed up. Okay, that mech needs to die next. And we definitely need to heal up. Okay. Could have been a better time for backup. Let's see, so we dealt like what, eight, nine points of damage to everyone in that area? Not bad. Not great, but not bad either. I mean, it's 
It's just one action, right? So... We need to counter heal. Just get everybody topped up. Okay, we only have one frost shot. What else you got? Yeah, cereal is a bit wasted, but I think I'm pretty sure I just want to do fanfire. Because Fanfire plus Face Off will almost get both of them down. Yeah, that's the right call. That was the right call. up my lads pierces all multiple targets down very good Let's hit the remaining enemies. I uh, can't really grapple up there. Adam moves up. Kill confirmed. I need ammo. We place another grenade here that could kill two of them. Minimum damage, unfortunately, on that collector. The idea was the right one. The execution slightly, slightly wrong. You know that was good. Done. And yeah, we're just soul firing this guy to death. That's how it's done. I am 
Overwatch for the reinforcements. Stupid reinforcements. That was close. Okay. Seems doable. Moves up. Lighting hands. Very good. In a nice little face off. Well, that was a really good shot. I am actually quite impressed. Moving up. One more kill. Our random soldier, Adam O'Connor, still survives and is still doing really well. Moving to here. That solves this problem. And look, Thumper. Not even sure if there are any more packs around. I tell you what, we're going to run and gun. Fix cover and with chain shot we should be good to also kill the shield bearer oh yeah good hit like it Big deal. no problem boss go ro moves up Yeah, there is another pack. I just saw it through here. There is one more pack over here. Okay. High ground for us because that's what he should and could do. Failed to get the loot, unfortunately. Ready to go. On the move. Copy that. Adam move. moves up. Turret overwatches. It's killing. Reload go overwatch. 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 Come get some. And I hope it's worth it. We got plenty of turns left over. Confirmed. Adam helps us with destroying some of these transmitters not a problem Roro takes a better position we know the last pack is the to the side and now. Oh. 
Let's make sure we have as much time as possible. We're not picking up any more of those relays. That's all the time we're going to get, Commander. I'm ready. I can handle that. Overwatch. All right, Overwatch, 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 and surprise, Overwatch. Triple Venator. Oh my lord. Have mercy. Get it together. At least we know where they are. That one hurt a little. Well, it's not over yet. Really good hit. Guardian. Oh yeah. Void Rift. We could hit n quite a few of them, actually. needs healing and these venators need a big fat rupture Okay, well, look who just showed up. Let's freeze that Venator. Adam is not afraid to take some risks. Very nice hit. Good job, Adam. Turret is... Oh, wait. These guys have kinetic plat uh, plating. Mm, yeah. Never mind. Good, stasis out the shield bearer. Big fat EMP weakness, like it. We have, first of all, he's burning, so he's already dead. Secondly, we do have uh, Blade Storm. Uh, 
Very nice, good hit. Good, we'll kill the mutant commando and let's see what else we're doing with it. There is the rider. Oh, we nice. Almost mind controlled, but instead ruptured and panicked. Be a kill. Nah, I think we need to do this. That will split the other codex. The other Venator. Yeah, here is the stun. Well, it got feedback, but that almost automatically led into us being super exposed. We got... Well, okay, that was not cool. For the first time in ages, we're actually out of healing. still clones uh, themselves. I don't like it. Okay. Planting this the before. Charges are active, but the aliens are still working to isolate the transmitter. Eliminate two remaining hostiles before they cut it off. Out of ammo here. That's a solid kill. A useful aid. We know there is another Venator. I thought we had blue screen rounds. Apparently we do not. Yeah, we're overwatching. Cover the flanks. Uh, 
Good, the triple Ven Venator pack was an absolute uh, treat to fight against. Good, listen. Hewar doesn't need to also take damage. And we're just finishing this guy. Three points. Not the end of the world. Twelve hit points. Is the Null Lens potentially better? It's over 50% chance to immediately kill him. Okay, today I learned shield is being deducted from Null Lens. I so far was not aware of that. Can't really reach him, unfortunately. Inquisitor needs uh, the aid protocol the most because he's one shot. of turn I had cleaner missions that was harder than expected mainly I think the the, the core part that I did not fully appreciate so far was uh, the teleportation of the venator into our uh, field that gave uh, everyone apparently a feedback of eight I don't know why it might be a venator ability but the Venator also took it, and then on top of it, everybody took the explosion damage of the Venator, which was another 4. So that's 12 points AoE damage, plus a stun. It's pretty gnarly. Ruru developed Fear of Psionic. How fitting for a Psionic character. Good. And we're going to do 52 Cult of Jiraiya in our next mission. Intel suggests uh, that a massive amount of Cult of Jiraiya is operating in that area. And there's only one place where they belong, uh, outside of the ring. So let's kick them out. If you are a devoted fanatic of XCOM 2, feel free to pray to the shrine of the like button. If you pray hard enough, it might erect itself and give you a thumbs up. Thank you and have a good one.